In activity six, roots, anchor, and absorb, students learn about the different functions of plant roots. They first examine the roots of a variety of plants and then learn that roots anchor the plant and absorb water and nutrients from the soil. Finally, students discover that some plants store extra food in their roots and that these roots can be eaten. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 6, Parts A and B, magnifiers, crayons, plastic trays, large paper cups, the garden box, mung bean sprouts, mustard sprouts, potting soil, and toothpicks. You will also need to provide alfalfa sprouts and avocado plants, a bucket, carrots and radishes with green still attached, newspaper, paper towels, and tap water. To prepare for session one, make a copy of Activity Sheet 6, Part A, for each student. Students will also need their copy of Activity Sheet 1. Set up a distribution station with the following items. The containers of plants grown in water, the garden box, plastic trays, large paper cups with about an inch of water in them, a box of toothpicks, and a roll of paper towels. Each student will need a magnifier, and each team of four will need two boxes of crayons. Plan to conduct this activity when the avocado plants from Activity 4 have developed an extensive root system. By this time, the other plants grown in water and in soil should have well-established roots, stems, and leaves. To begin Session 1, redistribute each student's copy of Activity Sheet 1 and review the parts of a plant shown in the diagram. Then, turn the student's attention to the avocado plants and encourage them to observe the roots of the plant and describe what they look like. Divide the class into teams of four and have the teams come up to the distribution station. Gently remove one mung bean sprout, one mustard seed sprout, and one alfalfa sprout from the growing containers and place the sprouts on a plastic tray. Give each team four toothpicks, one paper cup with a little water in it, a paper towel, and two boxes of crayons. Then distribute a magnifier to each student. Instruct students to examine and compare the roots of the three plants with the size of their plants. Ask students, does the tallest plant have the longest roots? Students should observe that the bean sprout is much larger than the other sprouts and also has the largest roots, indicating a direct relationship between the size of the plant and the size and complexity of the root system. Next, tell teams to choose several seedlings from the garden box and remove the plants. They should gently pull up the plant by the base of the stem and then place the plants on their trays. Encourage the class to examine the roots with the magnifier and toothpick. Then, students should dip the plants in the cup of water to clean off the soil and place them back on the tray to examine again. Ask students, how hard would it be to pull up a plant that had no roots? Guide students to understand that roots anchor the plant in soil, and the larger the plant, the larger the roots must be in order to hold the plant in place. Distribute a copy of Activity Sheet 6, Part A, to each student and have them complete Steps 1 and 2. Ask students to examine the condition of the plants on their tray. They should notice that some of the plants are wilted. Elicit that a lack of water or moisture in soil caused this. Then have students pour the cup of water into the tray and arrange the plants so that only their roots are in water. After a few minutes, ask students to observe the plants now. They should see that the plants have revived somewhat. Inform students they have just observed the second important function of roots, that roots absorb or take in water and nutrients from the soil. Without water and nutrients, a plant would die. Next, tell students to answer the question at the bottom of Activity Sheet 6, Part A. At this time, you can return the uprooted plants to their growing containers, transplant them into larger containers, or discard them. Make sure not to plant the avocado plants yet, as they are needed in Session 2. To conclude Session 1, discard the paper cups and toothpicks and return all growing containers to their storage places. Rinse and dry the plastic trays and return them, along with the magnifiers and crayons, to the kit. To prepare for Session 2, make a copy of Activity Sheet 6, Part B, for each student. Each student will need a magnifier, and each team of four will need a plastic tray, one carrot, one radish, access to the avocado plants, and two boxes of crayons. 
Before session two, purchase some carrots and radishes with the green still attached to them, one of each for each team of four. Plant one carrot and one radish in a bucket of potting soil. Make sure these root vegetables are below the surface of the soil so students cannot identify them. To begin session two, place the bucket containing the carrot and radish plants on a table where all students can gather around. Ask students if they know what kind of plants these are and where the plant's roots are. Then have two students pull gently on the greens of the plant until they have removed the carrot and radish from the bucket. Explain that the carrot and the radish are the main roots of the plant, but that smaller roots can also be found hanging off the main one. Point out that at the tips of these smaller roots are root hairs. Next, distribute a magnifier and a copy of Activity Sheet 6, Part B, to each student, divide the class into teams of four, and distribute the materials. Place the jars of avocado seedlings where all students can see them. Encourage students to compare the main roots of the carrot and radish plants with those of the avocado plants. Then have students complete step four on their activity sheets. Explain to the class that some plants, like the carrot, can store food in their roots. Conversely, the avocado roots are small and can therefore store little food in them. Finally, instruct students to answer questions 5 and 6 at the bottom of the activity sheet and let them know that in the next activity they're going to learn about plant stems. To conclude session 2, save the potting soil and use it to transplant seedlings. Rinse the plastic trays and return them along with the magnifiers and crayons to the kit. Discard the carrots and radishes. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.